Morning everybody, Jordan with Inspect Northwest and Premier Property Group, just out here in Philida, uh, doing an inspection on a Bella Villa home that was built probably 12, 13. I remember because back in the day, none of these homes really used to be here. In fact, my boss used to live right on the edge of this neighborhood before they punched through. And the realtor that actually sold these was Patrick Ginn of Ginn Development, which is a huge force now in Vancouver. Anyway, I have a treat to kind of take a look at this Pretty cool Bella Villa, quite a bit of square footage, really nice finishes. Just kind of wanted to tour you through it while I inspect it. So hope you enjoy. So our grand entrance, double wood doors, beautiful doors, nice, heavy, stout. And as you can see, just as soon as you walk in, uh, you're met by, you know, the grandeur of the ceiling height at about 10 feet, beautiful crown moldings and trim. This plastering of the walls, your hand scraped flooring and quite a bit of space. This is one of their more popular designs, the Bella Villas, um, that really incorporated kind of master on main plus a couple bedrooms, and then also an upper bonus up the stairs. A lot of really nice finishes in here. As you can see, we have our nice stone fireplace, which is warming up, our granite countertops, hand hammered copper sink, ooh, there, and all your gas appliances. So, yeah, these were pretty well built back when I started to inspect them and uh, hopefully that rings true for the rest of it. Here we are in the garage, just our double car garage with our single car kind of bonus for your toys or you know your in and outs while most of us use our garages here for, uh, for storage. But lots of really nice concrete work all the way around, nice sloping driveway, beautiful landscaping. This area is really a, really a treat out here in Philida. Coming into the laundry room or mud room as some people like to call it, as there is you know the use for your hooks and your organization. Really nice amount of room in here, probably about 10 feet wide. So uh, nice finishes with the travertine, appliances, beautiful, uh, you know, your espresso looking cabinets. Let's check out the rest. Here's our guest bathroom downstairs. Again, travertine tile, nice uh, tub and stand up shower combo. Bedroom number one, and then coming into the master. Obviously the master's treated pretty fairly with high ceilings, your tray ceilings, as well as your track lighting. But then the piece de resistance is our shower. Shower again, beautiful travertine tile, double headed shower. Get in there, get sprayed off, make some room. Then our soaking tub with a beautiful view to the outside green space. This place has held up pretty well. It's been pretty well maintained, which is uh, always nice to see. Sometimes if people kind of defer maintenance, it can uh, it can go downhill, but I don't have any signs of that yet. I'll keep going on the upstairs and kitchen. So just going into the guest shower now. Uh, master bathroom checked out really well. A little bit of caulking and things to do. But again, our nice travertine floor, shower surround, nice banding throughout. And pretty cool little feature as well is your access, kind of Jack and Joe, mainly Jack or Joe just because it has the one entrance into the guest quarter, which is always nice for guests or teenagers or anybody you're taking care of. Nice ample sized rooms. I love the size of these doors. Real wood doors, beautifully finished, probably about seven and a half feet. So pretty cool feature there. So just headed upstairs from the kitchen. Nice, beautiful open stairway, nice metal and wood railing. But this is kind of your bonus room. Bonus room, teen center, that's what my daughter would call it. She'd call it her bedroom. But it's really nice because it's got its own bathroom. So no need to ever come see your mom or dad. Uh, or again, whoever you wanted to stick up here. So nice vaulted ceiling in a way. It's kind of a story and a half. But one thing I always liked as an inspector, they include a hatch to the attic. So really well insulated. Also your furnace and air conditioning uh, air handlers are up there. And I've done a lot of these with the uh, the attic accesses, but Billa Villa was the only one that I ever came across that actually puts a tent hood um, at the top of their attic hatch. Cuts down on the noise from the furnace, also cuts down from any draft, but kind of a cool little touch that they've always done. I haven't seen it probably in any other house. I've done thousands of homes. So a little unique feature uh, that Billa Villa put on. Anyway, last couple sections here, we have our office in the front as well as our formal dining room. Beautiful uh, square panel wainscoting. Just gives it that real formal touch, nice lighting. Walk through the butler pantry. 
for prep or entertaining and lots of nice storage for the pantry. Then into the kitchen. Again, granite islands, have your espresso, wood cabinets, six burner cooktop. I always wondered why they didn't put pot fillers in, but to each their own. We have our double wall oven and microwave. And here you can see the nice pounded copper sink. And some of these came with an added bonus, and that was your outside entertainment space. This one being on the back side of the green space here in Salmon Creek, Philida area. You have a nice little private forest at your back door. But the other cool thing is the outdoor entertainment space, outdoor fire, built hookups. So you can really just kind of use this inside and out, throw a patio heater up here, use it all year round. Anyway, that's about it. I'm about to hop underneath and take a look at the rest of it. So far, everything's checked out really nice. So uh, no surprise. If you'd ever like to take a look at one of these, feel free to contact me. My contact info is below. Same with Alicia, my wife. Um, and yeah, we'd love to show it to you. Have a great one. Thanks for watching. Bye. I know I touched on the kitchen. One more thing, and I love these. Here's your fridge. You can see they're counter depth, yes, and super wide. Cool thing, I actually had a friend that did this uh, in their house in downtown Vancouver. It's actually in two independent units. You have your freezer here, so full freezer. And then your fridge here, and then it's just mended together via this little trim piece. So just a ton of room. Don't have to worry about, you know, what's up, what's down French door or whatnot. And if either unit goes bad, they're independently replaceable, which is, um, which is always nice. So you don't have to replace the whole thing. Anyway, uh, that's just about it. Thanks again. If you ever want to take a look at one of these or uh, need a house here in Vancouver, I've seen thousands of them. Would love to show you around, uh, especially a treat like this one. So have a great day. Thanks for watching.